Today we are looking at the passenger side mirror. It was optional. This applies to 63, 64 Chryslers. And as you can see by the shape of the fender, with this scallop here, that the mirror needs a filler, a wedge, if you will. This piece right there. They're very hard to find. And we've undertaken the project of making replacements. This is a factory uh, original mirror and base. So I'm going to use this one and make up a template which will outline the fender creases and that will tell us where we want to mount this on cars that don't have it. We've moved over now to the driver's side of the same car and you can see once again that it's got a a wedge in there which of course it would need because the the fender profile is, is repeated, a mirror image. You can't use this wedge on that side because you need a mirror image. So one thing I'm going to try to show is the position of the mirrors relative to each other. Well, let's see if I can do this with only two hands. What do you want to say? Maybe eight and a quarter. Let's go to the passenger side. Passenger side. What do you want to say? Oop, here you go, here you go. I'd say it's eight and a quarter. So both mirrors are at the same position. Four and a half, approximately eight and a quarter in front of the door seat. This is the new passenger side 6364 Chrysler mirror base that we just had made up. Let's remove the factory original and compare. So here's that passenger side mirror removed. This is the factory original. It's easy to tell. It's There's our repop. But let's let's test this on the mirror. So here's the uh, here's the new mirror base and here's the mirror. The only location are these four tabs, and there's plenty of room for
for wiggle. After all, it is just a wedge. Here, here is the original. But let's see how the new part fits on the car when it's assembled. But first, I want to make a template. So this is a piece of mylar. You can see the painter's tape. I've put uh, some highlights, but pretty much line it up with the fender and hole and hole. And lines up with the crease here. So on the assumption that we're going to install a new mirror, now that we have the template and we know where the holes are, what size holes should we drill? Well, these screws, and they are the same front and back, you would want to take a 1 8 inch drill, no bigger, you might go with a 764 and see if if you got too much resistance, but now I will go compare the screws that came <coughs> with a new mirror that I bought from Murray to see if that is the same size. Yes. After all, it's, it depends on what size screws you have, what size hole you're going to want to drill. But let's go back on track now and install this mirror, reinstall this mirror on that car using the new base. There you go. If I didn't tell you that was the new base, you wouldn't be able to tell. I didn't wax the mirror or polish it so the new base which has a shiny new chrome stands out more than it should but no big surprise that it works just fine after all it's not nuclear science So oh, I thought I would put a mirror on the J, which doesn't have one. Driver's side. I'm at five and a quarter. So I brought the template over. And, of course, with the J trim, I have a little trouble with the interference there. But still, I can pick up on the profile. And I can get the seam of the door and the hood hinge. I have to cut out for the manual antenna. And that's where the holes are. Hmm. So here we are with the black K. Look at that. Nine and a quarter. Of 
Going back over here. Okay, convertible. Eight and a quarter. Silver K. Nine and a quarter. I thought that the factory punched the hole here well as you can see these son of a gun seem to be all over the place Here I am part way. I ended up deciding that I wanted to position this mirror the same as that mirror. Just trying to maintain symmetry. So I measured from the crease to there on that mirror and got this distance from that mirror and then I made up a template. Which I can paste up here. Look at the hole. Drill the first hole. One eighth inch uh, drill. And I got the mirror loosely assembled. And now the challenge will be to find and drill that hole. So what I'm going to do, I went into spare parts and I've got a spare base. If you don't have a spare base, well you can just take the mirror apart. It's easy. There's just these two screws right there. And you can lift that off. And that I think will give me the access I need to get to that hole. I ended up putting a piece of painter's tape and then putting the base assembly on and getting a small instrument to make my locating hole there. Uh, ended up having to loosen the antenna so that I had enough room for the drill to come in. Now I have the holes done. And there's your holes drilled. I'm going to polish up the area, hit it with some sealer, and then we'll install the mirror. The next time I do this, I will drill this hole first because this one's on an angle. And then this one will be much easier. So once I get this, do this one first. Then you'll have no trouble. This is just a straight perpendicular hole. And there you have it. Passenger side mirror.